This video is different than my other videos, mainly for two reasons. One, this is more of a story video, and two, this video is scripted, so enjoy. Apple used to make good products, however things have gotten downhill really fast after Jobs died. Now, instead of making gold good products, their goal is to trap you in their ecosystem. I hope this video will help you think differently about Apple. My dad used to work in the electronics section of a Target store. He sold lots of Apple products such as iPhones and iPads and iMacs and, or not iMacs, he was in the mobile. Work for, he worked for Target Mobile, yeah. Um, so he loved Apple products and he bought me an iPod Touch at, I think, age five. Can't remember the exact age. It was five to seven, so five, six, or seven. I played tons of games on it, listened to my favorite songs, and I thought it was the best thing ever. I owned at least a hundred games on the um, App Store. Most of them were free, but still. Later, my mom got rid of her Windows laptop and got a MacBook, which she still has to this day. And my dad also got rid of his laptop and also got a MacBook, which he also has to this day. We were almost a full Apple family, but not exactly yet. At age 7, I got a Windows XP machine, and at age 9, it died, so I only had two years with it. But I did a lot of gaming on it, such as Minecraft, and I played Minecraft at like 20 frames per second, and it probably had like a million viruses on it. <laughs> that, that was a disaster. But after it died, I had to play games on my mom's Mac. Soon, I discovered Steam, and I played tons of games like Portal and, um... Portal 2, and um, that's about it. But there's this game I really want to play called Terraria, which I don't really like, but at the time I really wanted it. At the time, though, Terraria only ran on Windows and Linux at the time, which is weird. You'd think it'd be Windows and Mac, but it's actually Windows and Linux. This made me really hate Macs. About two and a half years later, I got a Windows gaming PC, which I still use to this day, only it runs Linux instead of Windows. Around um, around two years before I got my new PC, I got an iPad 3. I loved it, and I bought even more games for it, so I played all the games off my iPod and, um, and put them on my iPad and bought even more games. Then in 2015, or I th actually 2016, I wrote that wrong in the script, I got an iPad Air 2, which is what I actually wrote the script on on vacation, so yeah. Around, or about nine months after my dad got Apple Music, or nine months ago, I can't read a script apparently, about nine months ago my dad got Apple Music. He loves it, but he got mad because I couldn't use it. You see, Apple Music requires iTunes, which is on Windows only, or which is on Windows, which on, I can't read script. He, I'm just going to go off script for the rest of the video. <laughs> um, so, my dad got Apple Music. Um, and he wanted me to use it because he likes it a lot. However, Apple Music requires iTunes, which on Windows is a slow piece of crap that sucks up like half your memory used to just play a song. It's not as bad on Mac, but it still sucks. Unfortunately, I run Linux, which means I can't use iTunes at all. I could use a VM, but why would I boot up a VM of Windows just to listen to music? I also couldn't use Apple Music on my phone, which at the time of writing the script was a Windows phone, but my phone broke, unfortunately, because um, my USB broke. And my Chromebook, I can't listen to that either. So, I bought Google Play Music, which lets you upload your downloaded iTunes library to your Google Play library for free. And using a client called Cloud Music, I could listen to it on my Windows phone. And it obviously supports Chromebooks, Linux, Windows, and Mac. Remember when I said I downloaded lots of games onto my iPads and iPod Touch? Well, I cannot play those games on Android or Windows Phone. On Android, it's not a big deal, because there's an app called <coughs> vShare, which lets you get paid apps free, and I use that app to download stuff from iOS, but I, I don't download anything else, because that's basically piracy. But I do download apps that I paid for on iOS. Um... Or, I also can't get those apps and games to work on Windows Phone. So, yeah. 
Wow, if you buy something on the Play Store, it only works on Android, which is true. However, only one, t only one line of phones run iOS, which are the iPhones. Tons and tons and tons of phones run Android. Um, yeah, <laughs> you could find all phones of different types running Android. So, um, if you buy your apps on Android, you can use it on any phone that isn't an Android f or a uh, Windows phone. When I got a my Windows phone, I spent $12 just to buy games I already had on iOS, like Geometry Dash and Minecraft Pocket Edition, plus some apps like a YouTube client and a Google Play Music client. Not to mention, if you're playing, if you're willing to pay, oh I never mind, I got to this already. Now here is the big thing that keeps me stuck in the ecosystem. Like I said, I use Google Play Music instead of Apple Music. And if I really wanted to, I could use vShare to get all the games I paid for on iOS if I'm on Android. Which I believe is morally okay, since I bought it on iOS. However, my solution isn't very good for this. iMessage. If you don't use Apple products, iMessage is the app Apple products use for messages. Most people think that the whole iMessage thing is stupid because the only difference is the color of the text messages, right? Wrong. If you're on an Android or Windows phone device, um, and you wanted to text an iPhone, you're forced to use cell data, so you need a SIM card, basically. But if it's a tablet, or if, like me, your phone doesn't have a SIM card, well, I guess you can't text your friend who's on an iPhone without a SIM card, or if you're using a tablet. Um, or what if you want to text using your keyboard on your computer like you can on a Mac? Well, that doesn't really bother me, but still, um, I can't do that either. This means that if your friend had an iPhone and, you're, and you had a phone without a SIM card, you cannot text each other. One solution is to use different messaging apps like Hangout, Riot, or Discord. However, I refuse to use Hangouts because it sucks, and my dad refuses to use anything which is iMessage, which sucks. <laughs> Which means I have to use my iPad to get a hold of them, which sucks because I don't charge my iPad that often. Now we did come up with kind of a solution where I convinced my dad to start using Viber and my mom uses Facebook Messenger. I know, I know, I have to use Facebook Messenger, but that's the only so solution my mom would use because she didn't want to download a new messaging app. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's my story on how I got trapped in the Apple ecosystem. Anyways, before I end this video, I think you would enjoy this. It's me blowing up the Apple logo in Minecraft. Enjoy. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, you can hit the like button, dislike it, that other button works too. You can subscribe if you want to, and my if you'd like to support me, the links to, for that are in the description. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.